Okay. I just got done dumping a bunch of blood points into Pyramid Head, or the Executioner as they call him. And um, I just kind of came up with this prestige build and wanted to go over it. And uh, we'll uh, do a game with it. <clears throat> uh, so I got a really good roll. I don't actually have the page up. There we go. I actually got a really good roll perk wise. Um, barbecue kind of came in kind of late, but I, I got it like before level 35. Um, actually, well, yeah, because he is level 35. Um, so we got barbecue and chili prestige three. So whenever I hook a survivor, uh, any survivor outside of 40 meters will, uh, their auras will be revealed unless they're hiding in a locker or, or running a perk to counter or reading. Um, pretty straightforward. I also do it for, uh, you get a token at, for uh, the first time you hook that survivor and you get a 25% bonus. So basically, uh, if you hook all four survivors, you get a 100% bonus blood point, um, which is namely why I usually run barbecue and chili. Um, the, tra the extra tracking is a, just a bonus, but uh, I do it namely for the extra blood points. Um, then we're running corrupt intervention. I, it, it, honestly, it's just to help slow down the gens because if they spawn at a gen and are far enough away from me, hopefully that gen will get blocked. If not, maybe I can actually get lucky and find them and push them off the gen before they even get any like much progress on it. Um, <clears throat> since flashlights are extremely prevalent and I'm thoroughly getting annoyed with it, and especially since they're glitched and survivors are exploiting the fuck out of it. I'm running Lightborn because I'm an asshole. And I imagine that a lot of survivors aren't going to like this. I may very well get salt. But I think it's great because the next perk I am specifically also running in synergy with that. I'm hoping someone's dumb enough to walk up to me when I'm picking up a survivor and tries shining a flashlight in my face because I have Lightborn, I'm not going to get blinded, and then I have Mad Grit, so I get a free hit on them probably, and while I'm probably not going to be able to translate that into a down, I'm at least going to be able to injure them, and once I get the hook, I will hopefully be able to then engage that person in chase. Unless they're dumb enough to try to flashlight me while they're injured, and then if they do that, then it's a free down for me and a free hook. So I'm hoping these two perks, despite being uh, only tier two, I really hope that they kind of make my game. Um, add-ons, I should cover add-ons. I haven't played uh, at all uh, Pyramid Head, so I don't know anything about his add-ons. Uh, I don't want to run any of the rare or iridescence right away because um, it gives you a uh, false sense of security when playing as a killer because mostly the iridescence and rares make them uh, make the killer extremely powerful and then when you start going down and using the lesser add-ons you start feeling overwhelmed and like the power isn't as good as what it was because well you used really good add-ons so i like to try to go the middle of the road so we're running burning man painting which considerably increases the reach of punishment of the damned um i'm hoping that helps me um with doing some counter looping and reaching pallets when they're dumb enough to camp the pallets also we're running mannequin foot which considerably increases the duration of rights of judgment trails uh, to remain in the environment. I really would like to get them tormented. Um, I imagine that it's going to be tough for me to keep track of how many hooks I have on each person, but ideally I would like to get them tormented and then when it's their third hook, just hit them with rights of judgment, uh, immediate mori and Boom, they're dead. Um, I really don't know if that's the way to go about it. I may just, if someone's tormented and I'm having a hard time tormenting people, I might just put them straight into the cages um, and force survivors to go after them. Uh, and then to help with uh, our blood points, we're running Survivor Pudding, which guarantees me 100% bonus blood points. Uh, so we have potentially 200 percent bonus blood points 
um, with Survivor Pudding and Barbecue. So, um, hopefully we can make back the blood points that we spent. Uh, because I didn't really get him as high of a level as what I'd like. I, I'm, I'm used to getting my killers to level 37, thereabouts, and he's only 35. And I still need to uh, get at least one more learned perk from him. I think I have both of uh, both of the other ones. But um, that'll do it. Uh, I will see you in game. So they're probably in the opposite corner of where I started. Uh, not like it matters because everything's blocked off, but... I'd imagine they're maybe down here. Just trying to keep an eye out. Oh, hi. If that had a little bit more range, I would have hit her. Oh. Okay. The sweat is real. I swung way too late on that. Get generous, nerd. Where is that gen done at? Right here in front of me. Oh. Okay. How did I not hit her? Oh, okay. Thanks. Well, I got two hooks to their one gen, but... Oh. I thought that was a hook. My mistake. Am I? Yes. I am so confused right now. Why? Do you do that just to bait out your DS or something? I don't understand this. This is stupid. You did that just for a DS play. That's so stupid. Congratulations, you're a fucking idiot. Trying to bully for no fucking reason. I got caught on that. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Really don't know why you would go through all that trouble of griefing me. Two people over there, just standing.
she went up. She's right here. Oh, it's this fucker. Ah! Well. I already know you're dead on hook, so I'll just tunnel you, and you already wasted your DS, so there's that. I shouldn't have done that. Might as well just get you on a fucking hook. She ran down that way, so... She just stay on that side. She did. I need to stop swinging at that. Oh, okay. Gen rush. Look at my fun new trick. That really shouldn't have worked, but whatever. That one's injured running to my right. I should hit this gen. They're being overly altruistic, so I know there's at least someone at full health nearby ready to unhook. They're probably down on this gen. Fucking called it. And then they're probably gonna go on the gen that she was just working on as she's leading me away from it. She's gonna vault. I, I couldn't even tell you where she was. That was just a blind shot. Well, failing skill checks like that is not going to get you that gen done. Oh, well, never mind. Except you have toolboxes. I shouldn't even bother. I need to check this gen though. Since I wasted all that time. Okay. They're probably on that gen. Okay, apparently I, that's not... No. Might as well. They're probably down on that far away gen then. Well, they seemed keen on not saving her. 
because they're over here. Nice fake. Except you faked it and then you vaulted anyways. I don't understand why you did that. There was a good play until you vaulted. I saw the fake too. Like, it's not like she didn't fake. She definitely faked there. I should have just threw it. That's stupid. I didn't even know she had dead hard. Oh, okay. Well, now you don't have your dead heart, though. Of course. Well, this is your first hook, if I'm not mistaken. Where's the other gate at? Okay. Oh, wait. Did they get that gate or the- oh, they got this gate, didn't they? No. I might get this kill. It's hard to say. Maybe if you spend less time bullying me and more time actually playing the game, the game would have been over a lot faster. Maxed out on Hunter. And we safetyed. I feel like this would have been a better game if they would have been cheap and gone with the flashlights. There, the Fang had a flashlight to start. I'm pretty sure there was a Fang in this match. Yeah. And the Fang was also one of the people that died. Um, the Jane was AFK for at least a portion of the beginning. This fuckwit is just... Well, is this fuckwit? This fuckwit is toxic as fuck. Oh, you had breakout. You didn't even use your breakout, really. I mean, you ran up on me like once, but Mad Grit would have saved me. I should have just turned around and hit her for being a dumbass. Oh, well. It is what it is. Uh, I want to keep doing this. Oh, my, um, so I have to actually send them to a cage. I can't mori them when they're in torment. Well, that sucked. Um, Trails of Torment actually came in clutch there at the end. I wish I could have capitalized a little bit better on it, but yeah, it, it is what it is. I got, what, two out of the three of them uh, in torment. So if I could have gotten a down there, quick i probably would have been able to get a 3k but eh, it is what it is it's not that big of a deal i'll play at least uh, a couple more games because i have a daily forum um 
and I want to get that done. And I actually want to get a game where I get flashlights, uh, and I want to see how well I can actually capitalize on them being dicks. So, yeah. Moving on.